Hey, what's up you guys? It's Jordan and as promised, I am back this week with a brand new video. Today I'm just going to be sharing a super fun story that I did with my dog Bodhi. I hope you guys really enjoy the video. I worked really hard on it. So I guess without further ado, let's just roll the animation. In the sixth grade, I got my first real pet. He was just a tiny, fragile puppy, and his name was Bodhi. Bodhi went everywhere with me. We'd go outside, chase tennis balls, go for walks, and play with his favorite thing in the world, puff balls. One time, he got a whole basket full of them for Easter. In the summers, Bodhi and I would go swimming and make videos about him saving floating pink princess fairies from alligators. Of course, after all of our swimming, we would always share a popsicle together. In the fall, he would protect us from any trick-or-treaters by viciously barking at them until they ran away. In the winter, we would make igloo homes together. He also loved catching snowballs in the air. He always got covered in snow afterwards, so we would run inside and sit by the fire until we melted back to normal. Bodhi was always there for me no matter what. When I'd get sick and be in bed all day, he'd always come and check on me. As soon as I'd get home from school, he'd jump on me and lick my face until I couldn't breathe. Sometimes we get weird looks when I order two vanilla milkshakes at Sonic and the car hop watches me give the other one to Bodhi. I mean, it's his favorite. I talk to Bodhi like any other human. He's a very smart dog and knows when to run to the car when I say, let's go for a ride, and where to hide when I yell, do you want a bath? Today, Bodhi is accompanied by two other cats, Mitchie and Ollie. Every day, Bodhi tells me that they torture him while I'm at school, but I think he's just being overdramatic. He only attaches to certain people and absolutely hates other dogs. Seriously, like, he may think he's tough, but one day he'll realize he's the size of a skateboard. I'm going away to college in a couple of months, and I'm terrified to leave Bodhi. We go everywhere together because we only have a few months left together. We go to Starbucks, get gas at the gas station, even pick up my little sister from school together. He likes smiling at all the little kids. I'm even thinking about taking him to prom with me. I mean, he'd look great in a pink bow tie. When I leave for college, I'm not sure what's going to happen to Bodhi. That scares me the most. One time, we were laying in bed and I thought to myself, what if he gets depressed? What if he doesn't recognize me when I visit? Or what if he runs away and tries to look for me? The anxiety had taken over and I completely freaked myself out. I looked down at Bodhi and tried to tell myself that everything will be okay. He even gave me a reassuring nod before laying his head down to fall asleep. I smiled and closed my eyes, feeling confident that Bodhi was going to be just fine. And no matter what happens, we will always be connected somehow, some way. That concludes my story. I want to thank Story Booth for collaborating with me on this. They're an amazingly creative company and really nice people to work with. And if you ever want one of your stories animated, you could submit it to their website and maybe one day it will be. Hit that subscribe button to be notified whenever I upload videos. We are so close to 100,000. Seriously, guys, please, it means a lot. Leave a comment down below about what you thought about it. Like the video. And I will see you next week. Bye! <laughs> Bye everyone, thanks for watching. Say bye. Bye. The camera's right there. <laughs>